We're making moves. I'm pretty sure this is probably one of the most prettiest face that the waiter gave us. Like someone actually took a cushion. Good morning. It's day four. We are about to head up for breakfast to meet up with um, Karen and Richard again. And then we're gonna go explore Antigua. We do not have anything booked today, so we're not really sure what we're gonna get into, but first things first, coffee and food. We've officially deboarded. We are now in Antigua. Darren's 93rd country, my 16th country, no, 14th country. I can't keep track anymore. So we're gonna spend the day exploring Antigua. So we just entered the ports here in Antigua and we are now looking for a taxi driver to give us a tour of the island. Richard's theory was, might as well just start drinking. Well, hey! It's nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Any but time, five o'clock somewhere. Each port is slightly different. It's really interesting to see um, how the ports are designed. This one's a little bit more long. The, the, the tour that we are doing is St. John's, and we're going across the island from north to south. And we visit over here, see the national park there. It's eight dollars per person to go in, if you want, and you don't have to. You can look out over here and then you come back. This so there's way. a lookout. There's ah. many beaches around. Okay, so if you want to stop at the beach, we will take pictures. What's the local currency here? Well, all of our we still have our Eastern Caribbean money. As though we take independence, yeah. we still have our EC. EEC. Yeah, we have our free money. Same as you. Money still. There are 365 beaches here in Antigua. Yes. That's a beach a day. Yes. It'd be hard to hit all, all of them in. No, you Your have lifetime. Have you been to all 365, Cyril? But until I live here, um, I close to 100 now and I don't go all the beaches, that's it. Do you have your secret hidden beach that you like to go to where there's not too many people? Yes. We have all beaches where we like to go swimming when, when we want to go swimming. Yeah. This is the first stop and we're overlooking something called English Harbor. You got that, did you get this angle and that angle? So like I was saying, we are at an overlook overlooking English Harbor here in Antigua. It's our first stop on our um, like three hour tour with our taxi driver, Cyril. So you can see it behind me. It's just a beautiful overlook. We have Fuji in the Kalalu, we call it Pepper Pratt, or uh, Kalalu is the same name, okay? What's it called? Pepper Pratt, or uh, Kalalu. So one of the places here in Antigua is the National Dockyard National Park. Um, we decided not to go into the National Park, but our driver took us to an overlook, so you can kind of see the marina. Let me get the pole out of the way. So you can see the marina behind me, um, and it's really pretty. It's gorgeous. There's a lot of boats. Um, but yeah, so that's a national park. It's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So you can check another one off the list. We're on another stop. We're at the marina. We're gonna go maybe grab a little drink, overlook the marina, wander a little bit. to 
see the skullduggery. And the boys got their beers. And I said I wanted something with the skullduggery rum, so I got a fun, pretty drink. I did also have a shot of their rum. I tried it, and it was really good. It was very smooth. I was actually really surprised. I would say it's um, one of the better rums that I've had. Definitely better than Bacardi. Sorry, Bacardi. But it was really good, very smooth. Well done, Skullduggery. So now we're just having a beer, or having a drink, at the marina. Darren is Mr. Photographer for the two lovebirds. <laughs> this is what life is like. Oh, we did tell it first. Photographer. Now it's the beach. We're back on in our taxi, and we're gonna continue our tour of Antifa. Very nice place here. Yes. Hey. So we decided to take a beach stop um, on our taxi tour and this beach is called Dark Wood. So we're gonna go enjoy the beautiful beach. So I'm pretty sure this is probably one of the most prettiest Caribbean beaches that I've seen. It's the picturesque Caribbean blue, the sand is nice and white. It is a hot day so we're probably not going to stay here very long because I don't really want to get burnt but it is beautiful, you have the volcanoes in the background. Um, so yeah, this is called Darkwood. <laughs> doing a beer beer around the Caribbean so I have another local beer Wada Dili it's a Antigua lager beer mm -hmm. three dollars Alright, so Cyril just dropped us off and now we're gonna kind of start walking some of the cruise ship uh, stores. Well, don't worry, sir. <laughs> I'm not uh, I'm not wanted by the DEA or the FBI, the CIA. I am. All my friends left me, so I decided to go to the bar. And we ended up watching a little bit of a football game and we drank a lot of Wadali beer. Now I'm heading back to the ship. So, something I did learn. It's very cheap to drink in some of these islands. They use Eastern Caribbean currency. So you can go to a bar, you can get food, you can get drinks, have a good time, watch some football. It's a really good afternoon. <sighs> so, I just got back on the ship and it is four o'clock. The amount of people that were trying to get up the elevator was insane. I just decided to walk slash kind of go faster for a workout up 10 flights of stairs. It's been so much fun. I love Antigua. So I've just changed. I've decided to go a little comfy tonight. I'm also running out of clothes. It didn't pack very well but I'm going to meet Darren for about a half hour while he finishes the 
Liverpool game. And we're gonna go play bingo. I love bingo. And we played a lot where I live. Uh, so I left all my friends. And I'm playing bingo. <laughs> Before what? Before. Wasn't even close. In the next session, they can make you see later. Five minutes, it's gonna make it quite interesting. So unfortunately, I did not win bingo. Darren and I decided to take a little stroll around the ship. So now we're at the aft of the ship, and we're watching Antigua go away. Just like last night, we decided that we're going to join our friends for dinner again at the Mai Time Dining, which is where you sit down, three-course meal. Yeah. Like what we did with I guess. I don't know. Hey, just see me in the Facebook So after dinner, we have gone to about two different bars. We did the Imperial Lounge for some jazz music, and that lasted about 10 minutes because we couldn't stop laughing. Because Karen sat down on a chair without a cushion, and the face that the waiter gave us like someone actually took a cushion just pretty much made us laugh so now we're at the english pub having another pint before we listen to some soca music i was getting yelled at because i wasn't doing very many youtube videos tonight but i'll be better huh darren evening everyone hi hey <laughs> All right, this is the animal that Randy gave us tonight. We have a little cute little flying bat in our room. But yeah, so tonight was, it's about nine o'clock. I'm exhausted um, between just like the constant go. So I decided to come back to the room um, a little earlier than everybody. I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna relax, and then we got another busy day in St. Lucia tomorrow. So another good day, loved Antigua. Can't wait to come back. Um, but until tomorrow, just remember to enjoy those mapless adventures that you go on, and I will see you in the morning. Good night.